let's look at this question eight friends mohan mohit mandeep mandar mukesh manish manoj and vinod each ordered a food item amongst idli dosa kulcha veg thali burger, burger baby corn veg roll and malai cha from a food delivery app not necessarily in that order the actual cost in rupees of these items were 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 in any order up until now things seem to be in order there are eight friends they have ordered eight food items and the cost of each of these eight food items in some order is also given by eight distinct prices okay but when these friends went on went on the payment page of the app and made a payment the amount deducted from their bank accounts were 50 60 70 90 100 and 110 this should be the type you should be a little surprised there were eight friends there were eight food items there were eight prices but the payments that were deducted the payments that were deducted they are only six in number 50 60 70 90 100 110 okay in any order due to the high demand okay due to the high demand for food it means the same amount might be deducted from more than one friend's bank account okay so essentially what they're saying is despite two people ordering food items with distinct prices they may end up paying the same amount because the prices paid the payments made or the amount deducted there are only six values available okay let's work our way forward the first thing is the price of no item was increased by more than rupees 20 or decreased what this means is either the prices have remained the same for items or they have increased by rupees 10 or they have increased by rupees 20 but there is no other possibility so prices have either increased by 10 or 20 or remained the same but nothing else can happen with that knowledge with that knowledge what we can do just just because of this point what we can do is we can make uh, columns and write write actual price and charged and then we have friend and then we have a uh, food item food item we can go ahead and create a table with these four columns and what this will give us is for whatever price what has been charged the possibilities will begin to emerge okay One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. Our actual prices are eight distinct numbers: thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, hundred and ten. Sorry, no. Just till hundred. Just till hundred. now because the prices cannot increase by 20 more can you see the item that was actually priced at 30 can only be charged 50 there is no other possibility for the item that was priced at 40 it can only be charged 50 or 60 for the item that was priced at 50 the charge could be 50 or 60 or 70 the item that was priced at 60 can only be charged 60 or 70 because it is not among the amounts paid For the price item priced at seventy, the payment can only be of seventy or ninety. For the item at eighty, the price can only be ninety or hundred. For the item at ninety, the price can be ninety or hundred or hundred and ten. And for the item at one hundred, the price can only be hundred or hundred and ten. These possibilities are identified quickly. So the item that cost rupees fifty and the item that cost rupees ninety, there three possibilities exist for everything else. There is just two possibility or there is just one possibility. Okay, let's work our magic. Mohit's bank account had been debited by the highest possible amount among them, and he had ordered a veg thali that had 
that had actual cost of rupees 90. So the 90 rupee item got charged 110. That is the highest possible amount. This was ordered by Mohit. And he had ordered a veg thali. Okay. So this point is entirely taken care of. All the conditions are included. The amount debited from Mukesh's account was less than rupees 70, but more than the amount that had been debited from uh, the friend's account who had ordered a burger. Okay, pay attention. Amounts less than 70 are 50 and 60. Amounts less than 70 are 50 and 60. And we know the amount debited from Mukesh's account was less than 70, but more than something. So can I say Mukesh was charged 60? There is definitely a Mukesh being charged 60 ka case existing somewhere. Uh, but more than the amount, less than 70, but more than the amount that had been debited from friend's account who had ordered a burger. So 50 has to be associated with burger which means it could probably be this 30 50 that pairs up with burger or one of these two spots becomes 50 and that gets associated with burger we'll see okay the actual cost of malai chap was 30 the actual cost of malai chap was 30 it means this is malai chap So 50 burger cannot be with 30, 50. It has to be with somebody else. Okay. So right now I know Mukesh was charged 60 and the friend who had burger was charged 50. Okay. A friend whose bank account was debited by rupees 50 had ordered the item whose actual cost was more than that of the item ordered by the friend whose bank account was debited rupees 60. Okay, this is a important clue. A friend whose bank account was debited to piece 50 had ordered the item whose actual cost was more than that of the item ordered by the friend whose bank account was debited by rupees 60. Okay, okay, 50 ka charge, 50 ka charge, jo hona hai, 50 ka charge, jo hona hai. There are two, two places, jaha, three places, jaha pe 50 ka charge ho sakta hai. For this 30 rupees item, for this 40 rupees item, or this 50 rupees item. These are the three spots where 50 can be charged. Now the friend whose bank account was debited by rupees 50 or charged rupees 50 had ordered the item whose actual cost was more than the more than that of the item ordered by the friend whose account was debited by rupees 60. So a 50 wala chahiye, a 50 wala. In this column, I need a 50 wala. Just in each 60 wala ke battery ka scope. The only way it can be accomplished is if this item that was rupees worth rupees 50 was sold at 50 and the item that was uh, that was worth rupees 60 was sold at 60. This third line essentially says the item costing rupees 50 was sold at rupees 50 and the item costing 40 was sold at 60. Because a friend whose bank account was debited at rupees 50, 50 in three numbers, one place will ये वाले 50 की बात होनी रही, because इसका item, इस uh, a friend whose bank account was charged rupees 50 had ordered the item whose actual cost was more, इसका actual cost तो 30 था, and this cannot be more than anything, whose actual cost was more than the item ordered by the friend whose bank account was debited by rupees 60. Now when you see the 60 year, when you see the 60 year, the inclination or the uh, man would be to fix Mukesh here. But you can't really do that. There is one more possibility of 60 coming up here. So we can't really fit Mukesh. But what we can fit in is the person who is charged 50 ordered a burger. So 50-50 burger combo we can come up with. This point is entirely taken care of. Okay. And this point is entirely taken care of. Next. Both the amount deducted and the actual cost were same for four food items. Amount deducted and the actual cost were same for four food items. Can you see if there are four food items, just my amount deducted and actual cost is same. There are also four food items, just the same. 
not same, not same, same, can't say right now, can't say right now, not same, and not same. Can you see the four item, the four items in which the prices are not same are already identified? The four items in which the prices are not same are already identified. The ones that have the actual price of 30 or actual price of 40 or actual price of 80 or actual price of 90. So here in each of these cases, the price charged and the actual price have to be identical. So this has to be 60. So this has to be 70. And this has to be 100. The only spot where we are unsure of what the price charged was is this 90 and 100. We'll worry about it later. Both the amount deducted and actual cost were same for four food items. We have done that. Mandeep's account was debited by rupees 100 who had ordered kulcha. Okay. So now see, Mandeep also, we can't be certain. Maybe he comes in this 100, 100 or he comes in this 80, 100. Mandeep ordered kulcha. I can put down this. Mandeep kulcha. Okay, the actual price of the items ordered by Manish and Manoj were 40 and 80 respectively. Okay, Manish ordered Manish ordered 40 rupees. So this has to be Manish. And 80 rupees ka saman has to be ordered by Manoj. Okay, this is done. One absolutely wonderful thing that we can identify right now. One absolutely wonderful thing. Remember Mandeep Pulsa had gone here. Because maybe it was the 100 100 combo that had Mandeep Pulsa, or it was the 80 100 combo that had Mandeep Pulsa. Because Manoj is already here, this has to be Mandeep. Mandeep and Pulsa. Recorded. This is gone now. So this point is also taken care of. Next is. The actual cost of the item ordered by Mandar was less than that ordered by Manish. Manish had ordered the second cheapest item. So Mandar has to be here. The bank account of the person who had ordered Idli. The bank account of the person who had ordered Idli was deducted by a higher amount than that of the friend who had ordered Dosa. But by lesser amount, than that of the friend who had ordered veg roll. Okay. So see, idli, dosa, veg roll. There are, for Manoj, we have nothing available. We'll see. Right now. Okay. Okay. Idli. Well, a person was charged more than dosa on a person, but less than veg roll on a person. So three amounts. Idli one a person. Can he can he be at uh, 50? No. He can't be at 50. Sorry, there is no 50 available. 60, 70, and whatever this amount. 60, 70, and whatever this amount is left. So now see, the amounts that are left to be allocated are 60, 60, 70, and 90 or 100. Can you see the amount in between has to be Italy? So this has to be 70. And thereby, dosa has to be 60. Whether it is here or here, I don't know. And veg roll has to be at whatever the amount is that is associated with Manoj. So this has to be 90 or 100. Okay. So the amount or the item ordered by Manoj has to be veg roll. The amount for 70 rupees or the item for 70 rupees has to be idli. Now the two items that are left, the two items that are left. Uh, oh, one more thing. 60 rupees item is with Mukesh. This 60 is combined with Manish. So this 60 has to be with Mukesh. This is done. Okay. Now, the two spots that are left in the food items are for dosa and baby corn. 
correspondingly here b b cor or dosa then the two people who haven't been recorded so far are vinod or mohan and correspondingly here correspondingly here it has to be mohan or vinod one last thing remember we were told these were the amounts that had been charged 50 i have one spot where it is two spots where it is charged 60 i have two spots where it is charged 70 i have where it is charged 100 there is at least one spot where it is charged 110 i have one spot where it is charged but if i need 90 to be charged somewhere the only spot it can potentially come is with 80 so manoj was necessarily charged 90 manoj was necessarily charged 90 we have all the charging prices we have all the actual prices we have all the names of friends apart from vinod and mohan and all the food items that are associated with them except the item for manish and item for mukesh let's get to individual questions the actual price of dosa was now dosa is either with uh, uh, manish or with mukesh the actual price could be 40 or 60 either option a or option b so d would work who had ordered the veg roll veg roll had come with had been ordered by manoj the actual price of burger and idli together burger was rupees 50 and idli was rupees 70 so altogether actual price will be 120 the amount in rupees debited from mandar's account was mandar was uh, the cheapest food item so amount debited from his account will be 50 and that is the entirety of this set this is a fairly complicated set and the get good thing has to be you keep on recording information as and when you get it and you keep track of all pieces of information mm -hmm.